I want to, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to talk about really the basics of SPSS. We're not even going to be doing any statistical testing. We're going to be talking literally about how to navigate SPSS uh, on your computer, how to download, open, and create a data set. Okay. So the first thing on my screen share, and I know when you look at these screen shares, it's it's really really tiny. So I don't expect you to necessarily need to even read the words. The first thing that will happen in SPSS is you may be uploading a, um, a data from an Excel file. So let me show you. So if you're in the file here, so there's you know new open open data set. So we're going to go to a new SPSS file. All right, you get a blank screen here, and we're going to click open my window. So I know I have some an Excel file in here, and I don't see an, an Excel file. Why would I not see it? It's because it says files of type down here that says .sav. Remember, that's the uh, SPSS, so it's only looking for SPSS files. If I click this and change it to XLS, now I have a whole bunch of Excel files. And I have here a sample data set. I can click and open this. Now, a couple of things here. So, remember, it's opening this exact same file. Okay? I call it sample data set. Uh, if you're familiar with Excel, you'll know that, you know that in Excel, there's you can have multiple worksheets. Okay? And I have data in one of the worksheets, and then I have, you know, graphs and, and tables in the others. But this is the worksheet that I'm using for the data. And the way Excel works then is if I want to change, you know, something about the, about the file, I can change a whole bunch of features right in the worksheet. SPSS works differently. Okay, so at SPSS, there's only one worksheet, basically. So what you have to do is you have to tell SPSS which is your which one is your data worksheet. You don't want those worksheets with all of the, the charts and, and tables because you're going to be able to do that in SPSS. So always know which worksheet you're working from and then click OK. And now, lo and behold, I have my uh, SPSS data set. And it is a little funky and I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, and it's untitled. Okay, but I, I do have some raw data in here. Now, if I wanted to take this file and save this as an SPSS file, what I would do then is, again, go back to File, Save As, and I have these same features here. So I could name this, um, classify it as SAV, or frankly, I could, I could you know, save it as something else. I could start it in an SPSS file and then save it to Excel. It's not typically how we would do it, but you would then just simply, you, ha you have it navigated here, so you want to browse to wherever. If you want to just put it on your desktop, that's cool. And then you would just hit the Save button. Okay, so that's how you would open an Excel file and then save it as in, back as an SPSS file. I'm going to close this one because it'll otherwise it will mess me up because I already have the same data set already opened as an SPSS data file.